A. Payday. You want payday? I know that. Caleb Plant shows his cheek after getting in the slap box altercation with Canelo Alvarez that cut his cheek at the press conference. Y'all remember. You don't talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Listen, I don't know how you found the video, but somehow, some way, you made it. Help others arrive at the content and find the content like you found the content by smashing the like button. It's a free and simple gesture. Get the likes up, share the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. It enables me to push out so much more content. Appreciate you guys. Now, we got we to gotta take it back there. Canelo Alvarez had a press conference with Caleb Plant. This is a much anticipated fight for Undisputed. Payday, you, you won payday. And that's against Caleb Plant. They are the only two remaining super middleweights that have belts right now. So this is for all the marbles. Canelo has an illustrious career. But even for Canelo, this will be the first time where he's ever had all of the belts in the four belt division, in the four belt era for one division, in any, any one division. He's never had that. And he has a great career with a um, good resume, very good resume, right? He came close. I got to give you guys all the facts. Canelo came close at his last division, his last real division where he had multiple fights which was at 160 pounds, the middleweight division. But he didn't get there. Close, but no cigar. But more on that in a second. Let's check in with Caleb Plant. So this is Caleb Plant, premier boxing champions. Fight is coming up less than a month before this fight. November 6th, I believe, is the date. This is a recent picture of Caleb Plant. And he put up his middle finger. As you guys can see, boom, I just zoomed in for you. And there's the mark and there's the cut over or under his eye, actually. And from what I gather, I, I believe Caleb Plant explained what went on. He was wearing sunglasses in the melee, in the altercation where Canelo kind of mushed him and, you know, swung back and Caleb slapped him, which he did actually connect. Caleb glasses got pushed into his face you know see picture these glasses and so i'm mushing you and then the, the lens pokes you in the face and then it indented or you know the sharp part of the edges messed around and cut him underneath his eye now i want to talk about that real quick it looks like it's healing up pretty well you know i don't think it required like stitches or anything but for me i still didn't like the the whole like, I'm a content creator. I'm not even going to hold you. I'm a content creator. The more views, the the greater, you know, the attraction, the more the virality of the videos I produce increases my pay. I mean, common sense. I'm, you know, content creator. So I love when there's a good storyline. But for me, I'm a true avid boxing fan. And when you get a big fight, there's so many things that come up, especially in this current world where we have pandemics and whatever um that prevent so before people could fail drug tests that's still a thing people could pull out of fights because of injuries that's still a thing people get hurt sparring pushing their bodies too far now with the pandemic people could pull out saying hey i didn't get vaccinated or i got vaccinated whatever the case is and i got the rona so these multitudes of things so i don't like anything that could potentially jeopardize the actual fight. Now, it doesn't look, don't get scared or whatever, but um, it doesn't look like this will play any part in the actual fight, but I, I just hope it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? Because scar tissue, you get punched in the face or something, if it start bleeding, I just wouldn't want for anything. I want to see a clean victor. And I know the Canelo Radical fans, they're going to just go their own route and not listen to what I'm saying. This is not making any excuses. This is how I always am. I, I don't want to see. I want to see whoever wins, win fair and square with no controversy. If you ever had my opinion on wax, I always prefer, especially for the big fights, 
when the big fight ends in more of a traditional fashion. I don't like a bunch of uh, hyperbole and speculation and angry fans. It's just better when we have a decided, conclusive winner with no drama. So I wish that moment... I just wish he didn't get the cut. You know what I mean? That's all I'm going to say. I just wish he didn't get the cut because at the end of the day, I don't want it to play any part in the fight, right? Like if it opens up in the fight and then people are like, oh, hey, but, you know, it's just because of the cut. So I don't like to see the fighter get marked up before sparring. Like if they just hit each other and, you know, something like that, that'd be cool. So hopefully this doesn't come into play. PBC says, in case you were wondering how the cut under Caleb Plant's eye is healing, Canelo plant three hours ago. He says, tis but a scratch. So from the looks of it, Premier Boxing Champs doesn't seem worried. Uh, it doesn't really look deep. But like I said, I just like the added precaution. I don't want anything to happen in this fight. I don't want there to be any confusion as to who's the winner or anything like that. So um, now that I got that out, that is what it is. Caleb Plant looks to be in great shape, as is Canelo. So this should be a great fight. I'm looking forward to it it's for all the marbles. I don't believe there's ever been a super middleweight undisputed champion in this four belt era of boxing. You see Canelo is being taunted with the shirt. It said undisputed mother effer. And then zoom in in the O is a picture of him slapping and actually connecting with Canelo. So these are the choice words from Caleb Plant that enraged Canelo, supposedly, and he didn't like the use of the MF or word. And now he got it on the shirt. Clearly a jab to taunt Canelo Alvarez. So this should be a good one. In fact, this is the best Canelo buildup that I can recall in quite some time. You know, maybe even since the Floyd Mayweather. Because Canelo's known for having good fights and, you know, pretty big buildups and stuff like that. It, or I wouldn't even say big buildups, but just big fights, big events. But never have we don't really see. I like English speaking Canelo. Let me put that on wax right now. I like English speaking Canelo because he's straight to the point, a little bit more vulgar. And I think you get to see a, a bit more of his true personality. So he didn't like it. He didn't like what Caleb had to say. And he's like, nah, nah, it's not going like that. So Caleb's got on his skin calling his camp cheaters and all that. He says, I will show you. I got something special for you. I got a surprise for you November 6th. So all in all, it should be a great fight. Now, back to what I was saying earlier regarding middleweight. Canelo came closest to being undisputed when he was at the middleweight division of 160 pounds. At 160 pounds, there was a point in time where he was one belt away and he would have had a fight. Uh, African-American fighter Demetrius Andrade, Boo Boo Andrade, to claim that WBO belt. And he didn't do it. And that's that could... Luckily, it played out for Canelo anyway, but that could come to haunt you if you weren't Canelo Alvarez because when you have opportunities to secure and round up all the belts in the division, most people would take it. But luckily for Canelo, he's been able to kind of guide around and, and still get the pertinent fights to collect these belts even in a newer division after fighting Kovalev so it all worked out for him in the end the WBC we know the WBC we back Canelo they were gonna allow him to fight for David Benavidez's old belt when he lost it on the scale no questions asked so a lot of people are confused and don't really know what happened so David Benavidez failed to make weight during the pandemic, it was one of Showtime's first fights back in the pandemic when they released their schedule. Didn't make weight. There were no saunas. So he was just, he was out. It was a miscalculation. And as a result, he lost his title on the scale. He whooped the opponent, Angulo. It's not the same Angulo that Canelo fought. But as a result, he wasn't eligible to retain his title. After that, he fought Canelo was dealing with a lawsuit with Golden Boy, got out of his DAZN contract and his Golden Boy contract, and he ended up still staying on DAZN, but working with Eddie Hearn. And Eddie Hearn's fighter, Caleb Smith, was undefeated. That's who Canelo fought, and he whooped him. But the WBC threw in the WBC belt. Caleb Smith won the World Boxing Super Series, and he was the WBC Diamond Champion. 
So instead of making like Caleb Smith versus former W two time champion David Benavidez, they allowed Canelo to scoop swoop in and, and take out Caleb Smith instead of David Benavidez fighting for that belt. So it worked in Canelo's favor. We'll see how it all plays out. I like the motivation from Canelo and Caleb Plant. Should be an amazing fight. Stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of coverage regarding this fight. It's a big fight. So, like, again, for all the marbles, drop your thoughts in the comment section. And I'm out.